Let's talk memberships. Okay, I'm Dr. East. I'm back with another question that was sent in. This one came from a client that is in my coaching program, and it's a fabulous question around memberships, strategies around having membership, a membership model. There's several types of memberships. We'll try to get into as many as possible. Let me read the question and let's just get right into it, right? Hello, Dr. Reese. I really appreciate this offer and I really appreciate your question. Uh, I would love to ask you about how to work memberships without getting overwhelmed and having enough time. Right now, I'm so busy, and that is why I've missed so many of the Zoom meetings. That's the coaching calls. I look forward to your advice and wisdom. My year has already been much improved, very much improved. That's a testimonial, my friends. Okay, first of all, if you are so busy and you can't bring new people in your membership, maybe your prices are too low. If you have a wait list, maybe your prices are too low. Okay, maybe the membership is overwhelming because you're offering too many discounts in the membership. And so you're almost like don't want people to join the membership because it's so discounted that you don't make any money. So you're kind of like, oh, I have this membership, but I don't want to offer the membership. So let's back up. Make it easy. Make sure that this membership, whatever membership that you create, remember it's a container. You get to create the container of your choice. There's no right way or wrong way. There's only your way. It's your sandbox. So you decide, okay, what is your goal? What's your intention? Is you, If your intention is for the people to have continued care, because I know that if I see somebody consistently, they're going to get better results. So I might offer a membership and the membership is priced better than just like single one-off sessions so that they almost say it's a no-brainer if a single session with me is $250. And if you are a member, then you get a session with me at 150 or 175, it becomes a no-brainer. And let me back up a little bit because many of you have low priced single sessions. And you allow your patients or your clients to use that low price single session whenever they want, right? So they have the initial visit, the very initial visit, maybe more because you have this intake and you're asking questions. Then you have this follow-up price and that's less usually. And then they get to continue with that follow-up price forever. No, they don't. Because let's say you treat them once and then they follow up maybe a week later and then you don't see them for a year you got to start over. It's almost like a brand new initial visit. So I love memberships because it says to the patient, I am committed to you. And on my experience says that if I see you continuously twice a month, three, four times a month, what, however you structure your membership options, I know you're going to get the best results. So you can come see me onesies, twosies. I don't like the results. You aren't either that. Therefore, it's $250 if you just pop in. However, if you join one of my memberships, I think it's going to take me about eight sessions. And I'd like those sessions a week apart, eight, two weeks apart, no much more than that. So I have this beautiful membership model for you. I have my signature membership model, ideal for maintenance, people that just want once a month to see me, that's this much money. I have my, my gold, platinum, or whatever you can create a tiered structure with your membership, but make it simple. No more than three. Don't have 20 membership options. Don't have all kinds of convoluted, complex membership options. If you can have one, that's even better. Typically though, we have at least one or two, possibly three, where they get so many sessions with you a month. The discount on having the membership needs to be minimal. Otherwise it's not worth it. Don't discount, don't, don't cut your prices so low because of these memberships. What you can do is say, listen, I have a membership and I have a client that has a very successful membership model. The membership is you pay $100 to become a member and you can use that $100 towards services. And now as a member, every month, my card gets charged $80. And every month I have at least $80 to spend on services. This is a multidisciplinary office. And so, and that money does carry over. So let's say I want to go and have cranial sacral and cranial sacral is $200. Well, I, I've been paying $80. So I have $160 
credit. I go in, I get cranial sacral. I only owe $40. So you could have that type of a membership model. The membership model is we charge your card so much every month and you, you have to have an accounting system to see what kind of credit they have. I like this because then they can spend it on you or one of your associates if you have a clinic. Now, if you're talking about a membership model, oh, and by the way, if you're a member, you get discount prices on products and services. So you'll go to this person's website. I sign up to be a member and members typically get about $50 off the service if you're a member. So massage might be $150 for members. It's a hundred. I think it's 80. My point being that that's one way to structure your membership, that you become a member. We charge a card until you end the membership. I just need 30 day notice and you get discount, certain discounts, not huge discounts. If you are going to offer the discounts, then non-member prices need to be higher um, significantly. So you're not like discounting and slashing the prices on things. Okay, so that's one member model. A just more consistent sessions and treatment membership model can just be as simple as once a month, twice a month, four times a month, or once a month, twice a month, three times a month. And they can book them. But the problem is, here's the thing with members. If you offer a membership and then you're so busy and booked out because your prices are so low that there's a wait list, now you have pissed off members <laughs> and you're stressed. So I'm going to bring you back, right? Membership models are great for when you want to encourage your clients, your patients to have consistent care with you. So make it simple and don't price it too low. It's not that. So let's say your normal prices are 150 members get it for 135 or 140, even that $10 They'll get discounts on supplements, on products. They'll get 20% off of all their discounts. And the thing about being a member is that you get first priority of booking, right? So when you're a member, we book you out for six months because as a member, I'm going to be charging your card every month a certain amount. I hope that answers the question uh, left a lot out. I wasn't quite sure about the memberships. At the end of the day, my friends, if something is causing you more work and anguish and overwhelm, maybe it's not worth it. If your practice is such that you don't need the membership and you're going to be full and the membership has just been more of a pain, get rid of it. Take it off the menu. Don't offer it. But what about the people that already bought one? Okay, attrition them out. Many restaurants will open their doors with a full menu and find that over time, certain menu items just aren't worth it. They're too hard, they cost too much, something like that. So they'll take them off the menu. However, for the loyal patrons that come in and say, where's that lasagna? Why isn't lasagna in the menu? Say, don't worry, Bob, Janet, whatever your name is, we'll make the lasagna for you. We just took it off the menu. So if you wanna remove memberships, you can still offer it to certain patients. But again, I go back to, keeping it simple. Make your membership model simple. One more membership model, okay? Another challenge with memberships is there's just one you, unless you have that multidisciplinary practice where the membership model, they pay a certain amount and then that money, that credit can be paid for any services. The one that the client that I have, she has chiropractors, acupuncturists, massage therapists, estheticians, and cranial sacral. So she has a lot of memberships. She has a lot of people, two, 300 people that buy the membership at $80 a month. So she can plan for things because she has those members. If you don't have a multidisciplinary, it's just you or you and one associate, then you might find a way to have a membership where you can scale yourself. You go from one to one, one to one, one to one, to one to many. So let's say you create a membership model and you say, okay, my membership model is so much a month. Maybe there's two options, twice a month and four times a month, right? Because we all know like once a month sessions might not work. I don't know. It's up to you. Let's say you have two options. Membership model A is you get two sessions with me a month. Membership model B is you get four. Now, those people in the membership, they're going to have lots of questions. What you might do is have 
open office hours, health coaching, Zoom calls once a month, where you'll tell anybody in the membership, hey, part of being in the membership and added value is once or twice a month, I hop on a Zoom and I answer any questions that you have. And, or you can do like I just did. You can say, email me all your questions. And then you sit down for one hour and you answer all of the questions and you send them all out to all the people in the membership. So now you can charge more for the membership instead of thinking, well, the membership needs to be a discount of my session price. No, you add value to the membership. You might even charge more for it. When you join my membership, you get two, uh, two or four sessions a month with me and you'll get my coaching recordings and you'll get discount on all of my products and services. And so there really isn't any discount per se on the services. You'll get a, like 10% off the of product sales, supplements, something like that. But you add so much value to the membership that almost the membership is a little bit more and it's more you position it as an elite thing that people really want that membership. They get priority scheduling. They might get more time with you, something like that. So it's all how you position these memberships, but don't discount them and don't make them cheapy and don't make them Walmart, all right? It, the fact that you're overwhelmed tells me maybe the prices are too low for them. Maybe you're giving too much. I often say one of the booby traps I see out there is that we charge for a single rose and we give a bouquet. <laughs> Your session may include a, a whole bunch of modalities, but you're only charging for the single rows. In memberships, the tendency could be to do the same. You're given all kinds of good stuff and you discounted it because it's under a membership model where it's positioned as a discount. Maybe you switch it, you flip it. January 1st is right around the corner. So instead of saying something like, hey, I'm getting rid of that crappy old membership model. I got a new one. You just say, hey, I'm so excited to announce my new membership models. Don't talk about getting rid of the old. And you just talk about the excitement of the new membership models. I'm adding coaching videos. I'm going to be sending you coaching videos. I'm going to serve you an additional way. Anybody within my membership gets to come to once a month. I'm going to hold a happy hour for my members in my office. And I'm going to do facial rejuve with these little gua sha tools on them. You can have fun with this, and that might not be a bad idea to keep loyal customers, right? If you join the membership, it gives you so many sessions a month, and you get access to my event, my events, discounts to products and services. All right, I know that's a lot, but I do try to give you as much as I possibly can, and I hope this has answered your questions. Keep them coming. I got a little bit more time on my hands to answer your questions, and this has been a real pleasure for me, and I hope it's helped you. Until I see you in the next video, bye for now.